Hello world! Um, this is Ali, and we're about to do something that we've not really done for a while, which is kind of like, you know, an exclusive peek at a dream. This dream is Chrome by M Molecule, KY13, Endless FM, and JRL101. It's a 30 to 40 minute long interactive music album, and um, yeah, I don't know, I've not played it before. We're gonna see what it's like, okay? Let's dive into it. They've asked me to give them some feedback, as it's currently unreleased, but it will be released quite soon. So let's give them some feedback. Welcome to Chrome, the interactive music album. Broadcasting live from the Endless FM radio station. Grab a drink, kick back, as we dive into a plethora of 80s goodness. Created by KY13 and M Molecule. This is Chrome. All right, that was a cool intro. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so this is me taking control. This is pretty cool interior here, it's nice. Like it. It's interesting, um, it's just interesting actually. I find the way that um, they're not all the same size to be really interesting, actually. Um, it's cool. Um, okay, holding R2 zooms me in, that's cool. Um, other buttons are not interacting with this thing. That's awesome. That's fine. Here we go. Systems offline. Power cell is required to boot the main computer system. Okay, cool. I'm liking this. Um, I was told that this was like a sort of 30 to 40 minute interactive album. Already it's way more interactive than I expected. And um, yeah, this is lovely set design. Really cool. It's like proper 1970s sci-fi type stuff here. Systems offline. Okay, so we've got to go. Power cell is required. To yeah, don't the main computer system. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I'll get a power cell. But yeah, it looks like we're collecting the tracks, which is cool. I guess we'll put them into a player later. Okay, so, um, yeah, brother, KY13 and them went to get groceries at IO Station, they're going to be out for a while, we'll have to broadcast the next transmission on our own, pick up the five cassettes and find the a power cell to turn on now. the mainframe. Okay, awesome. Cheers, bro, and <laughs> don't lose your mind in there. Okay, cool. Power cell is required to boot the main computer system. So this is a pretty cool concept. Clearly we're, like, in charge of some sort of space radio station here. Um, and you know, they've gone away, so we've got control now, and we're going to play this new album, and that's pretty cool. That would be the power cell. Um, no. Systems offline. I think there might be one more tape. There we go. Possibly still one more. Power cell is required to boot the main computer system. We'll find this tape, but don't worry, we'll get it. Just coming back to look at this again. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay. One more tape. Systems offline. Power cell is required to boot the main computer system. One more tape. Where is it? Computer system. Yeah, okay. Online. Now, that is my fault because um obviously yes, there was a big blue thing here showing that you had to interact with this. However, I sort of thought that it was shining here to show um that you would maybe interact with this. I don't know, man. I would maybe, um, 
I would maybe make it more obvious to the player. Maybe if the player comes and stands here, then um, you can have a little X button prompt on the screen or something. Um, I don't know, man. Look, I appreciate and I respect letting the player figure out things for themselves. That's like, you know, proper Dark Souls type stuff, and I'm into it. But um, from a purely, like, mainstream accessibility point of view, you might want to make that more obvious, or some people might get stuck and then not even get to the album. But that's cool, man. All right, so let's go to the computer. Welcome back, user. Select a song to play. Okay, I'm gonna go with Chrome, alright? It's the name of the album, and it's track one, we're gonna go through them in order. Random little bit of feedback, like it said circle to return in the controls here. Um, why not also have it say X to select, um, as well as like D-pad to move? I don't know, look. You know, you should just tell the player as much as you can about the controls at most times. Okay, that was beautiful. That was Chrome. That was track one. And we got 200 points for listening to it. Um, but also we got a warm, fuzzy feeling on our insides. Because that's the latest track from M. Molecule and KY13. Both of whom have been marvellous musicians in the Dreamiverse for a long time now. KY13 has this sort of 1980s synthwave vibe to their sound. While M. Molecule has done quite a lot of, like, sort of driving, industrial sounding type stuff. Um... And it's a really cool um, mix to see them get together. And we're now going to move on to the next track, which is Sunset.
Wow. Broadcasting room is now available. Wow, yeah, that is a beautiful, um, literal, like, full sunset there from the lads, as well as the incredible tune. I sort of feel transported to that location. It's really cool, and genuinely, this album is a treat so far. It's really exciting to see things like this still getting made in dreams and to see these people working together. Let's go to the summit. Wow, again, I'm just blown away. I'm transported to so many places. 
I'm also just reminiscing about all the years that I've like been seeing the work of these people and the growth that you know they've sort of had throughout that period. It's just amazing to see. I'm getting a little bit emotional just thinking about you know these two meeting in dreams and and growing together and doing these collaborations and maturing as artists and it's really cool. Let's have a purple cigarette.
absolutely marvellous and incredible subtleties in the visual there as well with a lot of those lights moving in time with the music. It's really cool and I do feel like we've been going on a journey here, going upwards, looking further to the sky the entire time. Let's have some symmetry. Wow, um, that's cool. And like, I do feel like there is a bit of symmetry there between that and the opening track, and it does give it a lovely bit of closure. But we should have enough points to access some of these other things now, right? Um, yeah, 1,800. We needed a certain amount to get through there. What's happening here? Okay. Okay. 
Let's go to the broadcast studio. Let's look around here. Okay, there's something. Looked like a um, either a PS1 memory card or a Vita um, memory thing. That's cool. I picked it up too quick though. But there's KY13s. Cool. Yeah, he, look, KY does actually really need to clean his workspace. I mean, look at it, man. Look at it. See all these liquids here? I mean, these are a health and safety hazard. And does he really need three? Like, come on, lad, come on. Um, look at this. This is health and safety as well, by the way. See if this liquid gets in this speaker. You're asking for a disaster. Hello, cozy. Okay, I've got memory card, but he there's a shout out for Hello Cozy. Hello Cozy is a pretty famous streams maker. Um, Alright, here we go. See, I thought the album had kind of finished, and then all of a sudden, there's all this stuff, seemingly more songs and stuff. It's cool. Let's go. This is cool. So Tapio X is another dreamer, and um, they're known for creating a lot of kind of surreal, like, landscapes and horror scenes and, like, first-person shooters, and um, they've got an amazing way um, of doing things. Their stuff's really cool. They're the technician and the electrical manager on duty by order of the Elite Ring Federation program. Insane artist and sculpt master, member of the crew, endless FM radio station. Go. Cool. What's the KY13 profile? Admin, free of duty. Um, former seller of bootleg tapes, another illegally obtained musical products, music curator, official owner, co founder, and member of the crew at endless FM radio station. Cool. M Mall Cool. We Mexican guy. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Mexican guy. War veteran, now retired, professional code writer, hardware designer, official owner, co-founder, and member of the crew. Okay, what have they got to say about Talc, the creator of Gaia Hawk, among other things? Ah, he's a broadcaster. A radical criminal who's been banned from several, several Elite Ring Federation planets. Cool. Cool, now a proud member of the station. Sick visual art. Awesome. And then Hello Cozy. Senior Manager, Radio Equipment Control Chief, Systems and Gear Maintenance. And a member of the crew, Visual Content Creator. Cool. Um, there we go. Awesome. So now we know what's going on there. Um, I'm going to come back to this in a minute, but I'm just... Two, okay, oh, okay, more songs, more songs. Let's go. Let's go with them um, now and then.
Wow, beautiful. And what artwork as well, right? Um, if I had to go out on a limb, I would say that Talc is the one who possibly done that artwork um, out of the people there. Talc or Helicosi, um, just going by, you know, their styles, what I've seen them do before, etc. But, you know, that's awesome. Now let's have a bit of Endless Sanctuary. Wonderful, like just another really nice um, sort of synth vibes there and incredible visuals to go with it. It's amazing. Now we have opened that door, but I don't care. I'm going to listen to more music. Let's go with Be Bold.
Wow. Like, without doubt, the most sort of high-octane visual so far. Like, when that car first came out, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And yeah, it's really cool. Um, great music as well. Now, let's check out their remix, presumably, of Guarded Heart, um, which is a song that came out years ago featuring Lady Snipeshot. She actually uploaded um, just herself singing, and then um, ultimately people took those vocals and turned them into songs, and I guess this is the latest remix of, of one of hers. Love it, like absolutely classic vocals for Dreams and also um, just an incredible remix there. Um, it's great, it's cool. Now let's check out this interface. Ah, uh -huh. we can't now, you see. But let's access this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now this is going to be Tapio X. Um, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure this is the work of Tapio X when it has people among the collaborators. Let's scan this. Whoa, what's going on here, man? I, ju I was just listening to an album. And now we've got, you know what I mean? It's cool, though. Big fan of the work of Tapio X. And also, um, the creator of this album, um, or one of the creators of this album, um, M. Molecule, has like a creation called Gallery of Horror, which is amazing by the way. This is like loads of different um, chilling creations. And um, yeah, you should check that out sometime. It's really good. As well as just their music back catalog and everything. Yeah, I hope I don't have any psychotic breakdowns from this. 
That's cool, by the way. That's really cool. Like, obviously, this is not a world that I want to be in. It's not very... But that's really cool. I love this little portal here. And then... The glim that's just cool. <laughs> Tenya. Um, that should just come up. Right, okay. Um... Let's get out of here, man. Okay, so these don't seem to do anything. That's fine. We've opened up the door. We can check it out. And yes, it is this way. Quite nice sound design over here. Nice 3D audio as we're getting closer. We're just gonna go to the new song. Okay, so it's, I guess it's the vocal version of Sunset featuring Kimaraki, I guess. Okay, now this is a little bit awkward because we've still got that other noise happening while it's playing. A minute. Just as well as starting playing, this is dope. And it's appropriate for my maximum score. Kimaraki is amazing, her voice is incredible, and she's such a talent. She's also a designer in her own right, making her own game. You should check her out. I'll give her a tag and stuff, along with all these other people. Now let's listen.
That is beautiful, man. I love Kimaraki's vocals, and um, yeah, that's an incredible tune. Um, I think this is it. Um, I think this is it. Like, I'm just checking up here um, as I have messages with the creator um, to check. And okay, yeah, there we go. Um, that is it, I believe. That is it. Um, I was just being informed that they also had an extra track that they were working on with um, Southern Sassy Girl, but unfortunately it didn't work out. So yeah, that's it. That's an incredible album. And um, I want to thank them for sharing it with me before its initial release, as well as giving me the opportunity to give them a little bit of feedback. Apologies for that noise there. Um, but yeah, this has been awesome. This is an incredible album. You should all check it out in Dreams or any other platform that it may become available on in the future. Incredible music. Great job, M. Molecule and KY13 and everyone else involved. <laughs> Signing out. Hello again. Um, and then now, the creator asked me if I finished the game and I was like, well, I've listened to all the music. Oh. And I, he asked me if I finished the game and I was like, well, I've listened to all the music. Um, so I think I have, but you'll be able to tell me if I haven't. And um, apparently there's a button somewhere that you can press to end the game, and then there is... There's a button you can press to end the game, and then there's like one more song that plays as the end song. And I've not asked them where this button is, or anything. But... Uh, I'm looking for it. Like, it's probably on this console and it's probably something to do with one of these, right? But... I don't know. I mean, I've done this before. That's not working. The mod sphere... Um, like, refresh Omicron. Hello Cozy to access. Yeah, I've got the memory card and I've accessed Omicron and I've played it. Hmm. No, nope. yeah, oh well. Wow. It must oh it must be one of these. Alright, okay, okay. Of course. I kind of forgot that I didn't go back to these once I started playing that music because I just got so into the music. Kimaraki's voice is incredible. Great songwriter, great talent. Okay, so this is going to let me know if I've done them all. I'm sure I have. These are cool descriptions of the songs, by the way. Transcendence of reality, illusion of choice suggests major technological advancements such as brain computer interfaces are part of a larger purpose within humankind. The individual chooses its destiny, it's programmed. It's all cool, man. But is there any we've missed? Hmm. I'm finding this fascinating. Coordinates. Okay, so I have activated all of them. Um, I've activated all the things to be activated. Oh, the end. There we go. There we go. Okay, the end. It was right in front of me the whole time.
Absolutely beautiful. Um, so that is the album officially ended. That final song was called The End. And it, it was, yeah, it was beautiful. It's a shame that it took a bit of prompting from the creator for me to find that end because I had previously thought that I was finished. Um, but of course, they're going to see this and they're going to know that maybe they um, could do something to make it slightly more obvious. Um, and that's cool. It's amazing. I really enjoyed that experience and it is genuinely a bit of an honour and a privilege to have them reach out to me to ask me to have a little look at it before it gets officially released. Um, it is still um, unlisted at the moment, but I'm sure that it will be coming out very soon and you should check out the creations from all of the people contained within it. Anyway, um, All Star signing out. <laughs>